Welcome to EE Know How. In this video, we will look at setup and hold times of a CMOS latch. We will try to understand why this setup and hold time constraints come into the picture because a lot of people have trouble understanding what the setup and hold times are. So let's look at a CMOS latch. I will draw a simple, simple view for it. So we looked at a CMOS latch in a separate video. So we have an input DN and then an output Q out. So these are DN is the input, Q out is the output and we have an enable. <coughs> And then we could have an input like a reset input, which we will not look at it in this video right now, but we will look at the relationship between DN and enable and how QOUT behaves. So we know we also know that when enable is high, when enable is high, the latch passes whatever is applied on DN to QOUT. So QOUT is equal to DN. So if you get a, if you have a zero on the Q out, your D in would be zero, and if you have a one on Q out, one on D in, you will have a one on the Q out. So now uh, when enable is zero, we said that the Q out of the current state of Q out, Q out n plus one, is equal to Q out n. So what it means is it uh, holds the previous state of the latch. Now to understand a little bit better and also to understand what setup and hold times are, we will draw, draw a timing diagram for this. So let's assume that uh, the clock is just a, uh, the enable is just a clock. So we'll take two cycles of the clock, two rising and two falling edges of the clock. And uh, let me draw D in in a particular fashion and you will understand as I go along why I did that. So I, I keep D in low coming in, take it high sometime here, take it low again when it goes low, and then take it back high again. And I, I will let you know why, why I'm doing this. And then take it low before the falling edge, take it high after the falling edge again. So this is the D in. So let me write these signal names here. So this is enable and this is D in and now if you plot, plot Q out uh, it would look like this. So assume it was starting at, at low so Q out was low so it follows D in it goes high because enable is high the D in goes high and then it remains high here till this point and then it it falls here and then it will be low. So this is D in. So when enable is high, the D in changes. So this particular, uh, this, this transition of D in, it never sees it because it happens uh, when enable is low. So, and I did it for a particular purpose. So now let's write this as Q out. Now let's start defining what uh, setup and hold times are. Now for that we need to look at these two falling edges of enable because what happens is now let me say that the latch passes D into Q out when enable is high. So the latch is basically passing whatever is applied on the input to the output here in these two states when enable is high and then at the falling edge of enable it's going to shut off and put its old state it, it will retain its uh, state what was there before enable went low so in this uh, let me use a different color here this is q out n same thing in this case q out n Q out n there. So now let's take this case where we we see the the edge of D in is happen a time before 
enable false and this edge if you see the falling edge of D in here it happened a little bit after enable fell now what we do is we will and same thing on this case in the other case let me highlight that one too the falling edge here it is the rising edge of D in here the falling edge of D in happened a, a time before enable falls and then the rising edge of D in happened time after enable fell so now what we do is let's keep moving these edges closer towards the enable falling edge so what what I mean here is so if D in was like this say so D in was like this and then fell immediately here so now if you look at it your time the time is this the time uh, the setup time what you call setup time or the time before the before the enable fall d in uh, d in went high and d in went low after the enable fell but now it came closer to the clock same thing let's draw the same thing on this side too so let's move the d in edge so closer to the clock edge on the falling edge and again closer on the rising edge too say so dn change to something like this so what we see is we would expect the same data on q out despite this we would expect the same same q out to happen because the q out should take the value 1 at this point and it should retain the value 0 at this point it should retain the value 1 at this point at the falling edge of uh, enable and in the second falling edge of enable it should retain the zero value but now what happens is now we have to kind of zoom in here to so let me draw this picture here let me draw this picture so let me draw the clock just one edge right now so now and I will draw the D in such that it is very very close to so the first edge was a rising edge of D in so that happens very very close compared to the enable falling edge and then immediately it fell so what I did is I kind of zoomed in and this is the D in right now and then this is uh, enable and you would expect the Q out say it started at low you would expect the Q out to go high on go sorry go high here and remain high from then on so but now what happens is we keep moving these edges closer and closer to the falling edge of enable then what happens is after a certain point your D out will look will remain low it will not go high as you keep moving these edges closer and closer to the clock that's because you don't have enough time to establish your one in the latch so it remains zero if you keep doing that now we define what the setup and hold times are so what we say is the minimum time before the falling edge of clock that is because that's the closing in the in the latch in the latch scenario the falling edge of enable is where the latch closes and and establishes its previous state so what we define as the now let me draw in a different way where d in could be 0 or 1 it doesn't matter it changes a time before the falling edge of clock and changes back so it could have gone from 0 to 1 and back to 0 that's why I drew it like this or it could have done this it could have been high here it went low and then it went high again so it could have done this or this one of these two conditions now what we define as setup time is the minimum time before the falling edge of clock where the DN needs to be established 
So, if you take this time, this is T setup, that is T setup, and this time we take from the falling edge of enable to when the D in change of state, this time is defined as T hold. So now what happens is if, so usually latches have some specifications, say T setup, T setup is say 500 nanoseconds, just an example, and T hold is 300 nanoseconds. So now what happens is, as long as, as long as your, uh, if you again draw this picture where you have the enable falling and then D in changing. So I'll take the case where it is low like this and goes here. So this time between this and this, the time here should be greater than 500 nanoseconds. And the time from again the same point to here should be greater than 300 nanoseconds. If this condition meets your Q, your uh, Q out, say it started at high here and it goes low and remains low. And that is when the condition is met, that is when the setup and hold times are met. If the setup and hold times were not met for some reason, then what happens is the, say the Q, Q out was high, it remains high, it will never see this it will never see the D in transition, uh, this D in transition, this one here. This transition, I should use a different color. So this transition will never be seen by the latch. So that is what the setup and hold times are. So whenever the latch is closing before and after that event, so the data has to be valid for a certain time before and certain time after the, the event the where the latch closes. For the latch case basically it's the falling edge. So it is this edge and this edge. So your DN should be established a setup time before this edge and should be held for a whole time after the edge to make sure the cure transition occurs. So I hope I try to explain the setup and hold times and if you have any questions please post them I will explain them. Thank you.